now we're in the room and you're likely going to start off with this, with a tutorial open for you, um, which you might want to go through. It'll help take you through uh, all the steps of getting yourself set up. But in our case, we're just going to close it by clicking the X here. OK, so what do we have? Well, you can see the room's open. If there was other people, we'd see them. But the first thing you're going to want to do is get your audio and video set up and make sure it's working properly. So you're going to click this collaborate panel off in the bottom right corner. And I'm going to be going to my settings, the little sprocket here, the fourth button along the bottom. So click that. And what we have is set up your camera and microphone. That's what you want to do. Click that. It's going to make you pick your audio device. Um, it might choose default, but you can always go through if you have different microphones you can pick. In my case, I'm using a headset. And you can even see my audio levels are rising and falling, which is a good sign. It means it's working. He even very encouragingly says, you sound great. And if it's working, good. If not, it'll take you to help. So in my case, it's working. And it could also let you choose which webcam you want to use. In my case, I'm just using the inbuilt one on my laptop. Yes, it's working. Great. Now, they wouldn't actually be turned on yet. They're not turned on. It just means they're ready to start working. And if you did want to start using it, you'd click the microphone here. Uh, in my case, I'm only going to click it for a second because otherwise it's going to make the audio go wonky on this video. But click it for a second and you should see the audio levels rising and falling here. That shows you that it's working properly. If the audio levels are rising and falling in that little microphone symbol, you know you're transmitting audio. Someone can't hear you, it's something on their end. If you wanted to share video, it would let you preview first, choose share video, and it's going to show up in a small window here. Everyone else would see you larger if you're talking. I'm going to turn it off though. A few other things worth noting is that you may have your instructors run the class just like a normal one where you have to raise your hand. If you do so, they will see that. And Right here, you can actually choose your status. If you need to go away, you can. When you're ready to come back, you say, I'm back. And you might, depending on how your class is run, you can even do things like, hey, I'm confused. I want you to go faster, slower. I agree with what you're saying or disagree. So quick ways to respond and interact with the class. I also want to look over here, the chat. This will let you send messages to your classmates or your instructor. You might say, hi. Uh, you also can send emojis. You can see there's quite a few different types and you can even sort by the different types up here or search them. And even something that's kind of cool is within the people emoji, you can select your skin tone that you want to use as well. Now, it is worth noting, of course, that when you send anything in the chat, it does get associated with your name. And remember, it does get saved within the recording as well. The only other thing I want to show you right now is the attendees panel because there's some useful information in there. If I was to turn on my microphone, we would see the microphone symbol show up beside my name. You see it right there. And again, look for the audio levels to rise and fall as I talk. That's a good way of knowing if your audio is transmitting and a good way to help out someone else. If they say you can't hear them, you can take a quick look and see if their mic is on and if it's transmitting. The only other thing I really want to show you is this little bucket right here. You can see it talks about your experience. You can think of this as more or less your connection. It includes a few other things, but more or less your connection. It shows you what your upload and download speeds are. It also talks about loss and delay. You can see my connection is quite strong. Uh, ideally, you want to connect via Ethernet or at least a very strong Wi-Fi connection. Uh, get as close to your modem. Make sure you're not sharing a bunch of other videos or anything because otherwise you start seeing those loss and delay numbers go up. The loss is how much of the audio might get cut out. The delay is how much of a delay there actually is. So you might be hearing things long after they're said if there's a large delay. So again, make sure to have as strong a connection as possible. And really that's a quick introduction to Collaborate and hopefully we'll get you started. If your instructor is interested in doing anything more complicated, they'll probably show it to you.